Your journey through the story of flight begins here. A story of impact on refugees and everyone else. Today, there are more than 100 million forcibly displaced people worldwide. Refugees flee horrors of war. Hello? Can you see me? I mean, really? Often people who look at me don't see me. They just notice an anonymous refugee. Someone without a name. Without a face. We were living in Aleppo, and it was a good life. I never thought there'd be war. War was something I'd only hear about in school. It's dark and cold. My feet hurt, everything hurts. We got separated on our flight from Somalia. He's still there with my mother-in-law. The border. Reaching it may mean various things. Either you're stopped, sent back, or in the worst case scenario, you die trying to cross. Or if you're lucky, you make it to the other side. We reached Copenhagen by ship in April 1945. I was 13 at the time. Years of uncertainty about finding people, finding out what had happened. Where is home? As I know from experience, this is not a simple question. Maybe I should never have left Denmark. I'm stuck here in Italy, waiting, asylum centers, paperwork, sleeping in the street, Hey, Mum. I've just come to say hello and bring you a Bosnian lily. Still sometimes feel like a stranger. I go to a Danish school. I work and I know the language. That's why I came to Denmark. I'm very happy to live in Denmark. This is a model of a barracks from the refugee camp in Oxbill built by German refugees at the time. The model in front of you shows refugee camp Oxbill as it was in 1946. If you want to go back in time to when the forest was a city and visit refugee camp Oxbill yourself, you should take the audio tour. 